Hi y'all, it's me, Jessica aka Jessie D. So here I'm bringing you a video about how I get this sleek bun, sleek little bun. It's super easy, it's super quick, it doesn't take long at all. This is for the person who wants to be presentable but not want to do too much. This is it. And sorry for the lighting even though my lighting is horrible all the time. I'm working on getting it better though. But I don't know where my miniature ring light is. I don't know where it is. Don't come for my nails. I'm going to pop them off or get them done. I don't know which one. But yeah, it's going to be different. Okay? For the next video after next. They're going to be it's going to be different. But yeah, make sure you stay tuned. And like. Don't forget to like. Tell your friends about me, you know. I mean, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay to look at, or whatever. But, yes. If you want to know how to achieve this button, keep on watching. So, what I do at first is that I spray water mainly on the top of my hair, around the edges, and in the back, because I personally like having the puff look after I slick everything down. Once everything is soaking wet, I use a leave-in conditioner. I am using the Shea Moisture Red palm oil and cocoa butter leave-in or rinse out conditioner with flaxseed oil. You can get it in Walmart. You know how naturals are when the, when the directions say use a dime size and we use this much. So I use this on all the places that I have wet my hair. I'm working in with my hands, fingers first paddle brush also from Walmart and then I'm brushing the product in or it's a great way to detangle as well but if you're going to detangle your hair start at the bottom and then work your way up but in this case since I'm trying to have a, a slick bun I'm starting from up here and bringing it after I brush that in, if you see white residue, it'll go away. So don't even worry about it. After I brush that in, I use hair gel. Now I'm going to use every natural YouTuber's favorite hair gel. Eco Style. I'm using Eco Style Professional Styling Gel Olive Oil. Surprise, surprise. This I got from my, from a beauty supply store. I got this from a beauty supply store in Albany, Georgia. But they also sell this in Walmart as well, just in a very small, like half the size. It's small, but I'm going to go back and pile it on anyway. So, you just smooth it on. And at this point, I'm going to repeat the same three steps. Spray water, use leave-in conditioner, use the hair gel, and brush it through. The same four steps. Now, once I go through the process of doing the same thing over and over, I normally go in with a flat, a hard flat brush to smooth everything out, but I have my comb, my rat tail comb, and I'm going to use it to try to smooth it out the best that I can, even though I already know it's not going to give me the best results like a um, 
flat brush would do, but I don't have it on me right now. So this is a okay starter. <laughs> It's the next best thing so after all of the brushing, combing, pulling back that I have done. I'm going to put it in the bun. So, you know, I use a little hair tie, Walmart as well. And this is when I really smooth it down with my hands. Once again, it'll be great with a brush. Try to go back in with my comb a little bit, but like I said, it's better if I had the hard brush. Now, baby hairs are a thing now. They came 2019, they came in 2018, and you know, the girls that are doing the most with their baby hairs. I have my edges, but I also got full grown hairs. Like, I don't have baby hairs. I'm not going to cut my full growns just so I can do the little. I'm not doing that. I'm an adult. I don't need to be doing that. And another thing is, like, it doesn't look right on me. So, why would I do something that doesn't look right? It looks right on me. You know? So. There's that. So now, this is starting to form together. So you have the puffiness in the back. I'm going to go in with a styling wax stick, Cura Care styling wax stick. Also from Albany Beauty. Yes, I've had it for a little bit, but. I'm not going to show you what it looks like. This. I basically go over my whole head or where hair is sticking up. So I would definitely go through here. I keep mentioning having like a hard bristle brush or a soft bristle brush. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> but yeah. But it really does make a difference. Now, I go in with a styling foaming mousse. What I have with me now is the Cream of Nature um, foaming mousse with argan oil. So, looks like this. Pretty sure you can get it at your local beauty supply or Walmart. Whenever I start getting sponsorships, Walmart hit me up. And then I smooth it around my hands like that. Looks like a lot. Low key, it is a lot, but I take it and I smooth it all on my hair shine good hold argan oil for more shine and there you have it nice sleek low bun. I will list all the products I've used down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, wash day is coming soon, so spare me the comments. I don't need it. <laughs> but yes, yeah, something quick to do 
but you want to do something, like look like something, but you don't want to put too much effort in. This is it. And normally, like if I wasn't filming this, this would literally take me 10, 15 minutes to do. Not that long at all. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love it if you would join the Jesse D family. And we're almost to 20 subscribers. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Love you.